So during wash day, I apply this headband to her hair. I know they have a visor that you can use for the babies, but this just works really well for us. She loves Minnie Mouse anyways, and this headband is cotton, so it absorbs all of the water. That way I don't have to worry about getting water into her eyes, and I do wash her hair while she's taking a bath. We washed it earlier, and it's still pretty soaked, but none of the water gets into her eyes. So this works perfectly if you are looking for a way to protect baby's eyes on wash day. I got this from TJ Maxx. But you can get a headband anywhere. Just make sure that it's a thick microfiber one. Y'all know that feeling? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Shakray. Jacor is down here. Today we are talking about her hair care regimen. Okay, she's gonna tell you all her hair care regimen and the products that we use for a wash day and products that we use throughout the day, uh, throughout the days. So for her, I really focus on moisture with her hair. I focus on moisture with her hair. I'm not really concerned with the length and the fullness yet. Mm -hmm because length and fullness does not matter if your hair is not moisturized and it's not healthy and you're not able to retain that length. So the products that I'm going to show you today are geared towards keeping her hair moisturized on wash day and in between wash days, right? Say right. All right, so First off, I'm going to talk about what we use on wash day and how often I wash her hair. So currently I am washing her hair every two Ow. weeks. So that means she gets her hair washed twice a month and she does not get her hair shampooed every wash day. So I alternate between co-washing and shampooing her hair based off the buildup that she has in her hair, which usually she doesn't have any buildup in her hair unless she gets braids and we use uh, more products or edge control. So for her wash days, we are currently using the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Baby Wash and Shampoo. This is the bottle. And we have been using the shampoo on her hair since she was about five months. Now, uh, let me give you the benefits of this product. So this product does have coconut oil, sweet pea, and maru maru butter. Probably not saying that right, but it's okay. So this product helps keep baby skin soft and smooth. You can apply it to the face, body, and hair. I don't wash her in this, but I do shampoo her hair with this now like i said the shampoo is used once a month in her hair unless i feel it is necessary to shampoo it twice a month but the way her hair is going and the moisture that is retaining that is good for us for now now today we did co-wash her hair and i put that product up on instagram and i got a lot of uh, DMs about what products I am currently using in her hair. So that is why I went ahead and put this video up. Now I will say I do not use baby specific products in her hair other than the shampoo. Uh, she is using the products that I've used on my hair. I use that in her hair as well. I just make sure that I know what the ingredients is to make sure it is fine for her scalp. And so far we have not had any problems with her in these products so the co-wash that we are using the whole family actually uses this the as i am classic coconut co-wash so i use this on her hair once a month in between her shampoo washes and i apply it to wet hair i spray water and oil on her hair before I apply this co-wash. Jacor does have a different texture hair than I do. She has 3C hair, 
but her hair is so much more finer and denser than my hair is even though her sides are not fully in she still has um real curly sides her hair is a lot denser than mine so i have to find different ways to use products in her hair and spraying her hair with water and oil before putting this in does wonders for her hair now on her wash days we also use africa's best super grow hair and scalp conditioner i use this on my hair before i began my lock journey and i also use this on her scalp i have really bad dandruff my scalp builds up and usually that is hereditary her dad doesn't have scalp problems like that but i want to make sure that she's not getting you know any scalp problems for me and if she is that i catch it early so after i co-wash her hair while her hair is still wet i go ahead and apply the super grow just lightly to her scalp to condition her scalp and i only use that product on wash days we do apply a leave-in conditioner by pink it is their shea butter coconut oil you say we use a lot of products with coconut oil <laughs> um but yeah i use pink's shea butter coconut oil leave-in conditioner on her hair and we apply this on wash days after washing her hair before applying any other products i go ahead and apply a leave-in conditioner and i only use that once I do follow up with a TGIM Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Now I use this product on her wash days, but I also use it throughout the week. I apply this to her hair two to three times a week, depending on how much moisture she needs back into her hair. And after using that product, I go ahead and seal the moisture in with the oil and then I proceed to style her hair. Another tip that I have is to style your baby's hair as minimal, minimal as you can. So for Jacora, if I'm just styling her hair because we're going to the store or her fro is starting to look a little unfresh, I don't use any edge control in her hair. I don't use any gel in her hair. I'll use a hair moisturizer butter. I'll use some oil. And if I want to lay her hair down, I will go ahead and apply a foam wrap to her edges and to her sides. So the foam wrap that we are using is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I apply this to her edges and I'll wrap it down with a scarf. I'll also apply it to her sides and her back to lay down those curls because they are still super tight and that'll last it'll keep her edges laid for a day it's a very very soft hold and that's honestly all a baby needs they don't need all that edge control and gel in their hair you want to just focus on moisturizing their hair so that over time they can get length and actually retain that length now, if she is going to be getting some type of braid, something that requires her hair to be a little more neat, say we have an event we need to go to or I need to take pictures of her for some reason, I will apply a very thin layer of edge control to her parts just to make the parts a little bit neater. I do use the Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel on her hair. It does have honey extract and kids are not supposed to ingest honey Please speak with your pediatrician on if it is safe for you to apply uh, products that have honey in them on your baby's hair. I have already spoken with her pediatrician, so she is fine. But please do not take this as me telling you to apply this to your child's hair. Please make sure you do your due diligence and speak with the pediatrician first. Now, I'm going to talk about how I maintain her hair throughout the week in between wash days. Usually Jacora's hair is only probably in two ponytails or one ponytail, but if we're at home, I just let her fro be, let her wear her fro out. So I, like I said, I do apply the TJN daily 
butter moisturizer cream every two to three days depending on how her hair is and I always apply products to her hair on lightly damp hair so I apply rose water to her hair before putting any product on top of it and then I do seal it with a oil of choice if her hair is in a, a fro a curly hairstyle if she has a ponytail and her ends are curly we are using the TJIN rose water curl refresher I really love anything with rose water in it. Her hair really does well with this curl refresher as a way to, you know, wake her curls up before I apply the butter onto it. This is definitely a product that I recommend if you're looking for a spray-based product to apply to your baby's hair. Now, every three days, I do moisturize her scalp with this Nature's Blessings hair pomade is a conditioner, a restorer, and a root builder. My mom has locks. She's been using this on her scalp for years. I've been using it on my scalp for years and now I apply it to her scalp. If she has parts, I will apply it in between the parts. If not, I will take a very small amount, rub it on my fingertips, and then rub it on her scalp to make sure that her scalp is conditioned. When you are moisturizing your baby's hair you not only want to focus on the roots of their hair but you also want to focus on the scalp as well to make sure that that is conditioned properly now we also use as i am jamaican black castor oil water so i alternate I alternate between using the castor oil and the curl refresher when I'm applying product to her hair. So again, if I feel like her hair needs some oil, I will apply the black castor oil water to her hair. If I feel like it's fine, we'll just do the rose water instead. So hopefully this video was pretty helpful for you all. I'll do a quick recap of everything. So for wash day, we do, we use either the Shea Moisture coconut oil baby wash and shampoo or the as i am classic coconut co-wash depending on what week we are on yeah. week two we use co-wash yeah. week four we use the shampoo yeah. after yeah. cleansing her hair we do follow up with the pink yeah. shea butter coconut oil leave-in conditioner Bye. i then apply the tgin buttercream daily moisturizer to her hair I also condition her scalp with the Super Grow by Africa's Best. And then wash day is complete. Unless I want to go ahead and lay her edges down with a lot of body foam wrap. In between wash days, I condition her scalp with the Nature's Blessing Hair Pomade. We continue to moisturize with the TGIM Buttercream. We will wet her hair to apply products with either the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water or the TGIN Rose Water Curl, Curl Refresher. And if she is getting braids or I want her parts to be super overly neat, then I will lightly apply the Shine, the shine in Jam Extra Hold Conditioning Gel. So that's all we have today. If you all would like to see more hair, Product reviews, any reviews uh, pertaining to baby products and or Jacor, please leave a comment down below and we'll go ahead and film and get that to you soon. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a drop. They've been happening yeah. weekly and if you want them to keep happening, I need to get some engagement. <laughs> Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. You might just might be my love, baby. Love, baby.